discovering that I have to say just Rebecca, right? I was saying I have all these different names. I have a maiden name. I have a few names. But just saying Rebecca shifted everything because that truly is the essence of my soul, of me. Yes. And and the tone of your voice when you say Rebecca is the vibration that your energy is set at. And so electromagnetically, it comes home. We are electromagnet beings. We're magnets. And we're tuned to frequencies that are unique. So when I say my name, the tone of my voice that is like is a calling. It's a vibration. And so my energy can't help but come back because it's the magnet. I'm putting it out there. I'm amplifying it. The more attention we give something, the more amplitude it has, the more force it has, the more capable it is of drawing in what I'm asking for. So many people, you know, the saying, what you focus on, you create. But I would take that a step further. What you focus on, you create within you, where you vibrate is what you create. Because if you just focus on it and you only can sustain that focus for so long, that means you may get what you're asking for. You may find your way, but how long can you hold it? When you practice being it through discernment, checking in with yourself, what frequency am I in right now? Am I in a frequency of love? Do I really want to say this to this person right now? Do I need to? Yes, you need to. All right, then. How can I do it in a way that's going to come from a truth, a loving place? Not your opinion, not a factual place, because you can tell the fact and you can still be spewing a lie because you're doing it from a place of fear and that mm -hmm. creates self-harm when we show up in ways that aren't in alignment with love we are betraying the very core of who we are and when we practice discernment and we check in and we say all right divine spirit i really need to tell this person i'm upset with them but i i know that i want to come from honor not from anger and not from a destructive place. I don't want to come from righteousness. I don't want to come from judgment. I don't want to tell them that they wronged me. I don't want to be in victim consciousness. I actually want to understand and clear this mm -hmm. in a way that's aligned with my highest and best good. Mm -hmm. If we can stop before we act and just ask that simple question, am I about to think, speak, or act out of love or out of a fear? That's take that moment. But what's hard is oftentimes when we are in a pain, we're so lit up, we do leave our body and then we just, the, the pain just starts to react mm -hmm. to the situation. Mm -hmm. And that's what I say, that's when the shadow runs the show. What part of you is answering this person right now? What part of you is showing up right now? And don't judge that part of you. Know that that part is coming forward to be seen, revealed. So you can heal it. 